Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. morning day the church celebrates the feast of saint stephen the proto-martyr on this feast of saint stephen he was the very first martyr which we celebrate the day after the birth of christ and he his story is outlined in scripture and friedrich necht lists the similarities of the martyr of stephen's death and says, our blessed Lord was sentenced to death on the charge of blasphemy because he had suffered an oath, affirmed an oath. I am the son of the living God, and hereafter you will see the son of man sitting at the right hand of God. In the same manner, Stephen was stoned on the assumption he was a blasphemer, and because he professed his belief in the divinity of Jesus Christ. And St. Stephen, for your witness to Jesus, we ask you to please, please pray for us today. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment and confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant studies your laws. Your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we celebrate the receiving of St. Stephen into eternal glory. He died praying for those who stoned him. Help us to imitate his goodness and to love our enemies. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Sicilia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. 
When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips so I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a moment. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this day after Christmas, how interesting it is that we're presented with the first martyr whom we remember today. Now this Christmas hit me a little bit differently this year. Maybe it's because of everything that's happened in my life and the life of my family, but I found myself yesterday, after all the beautiful masses we had, at sitting down to our Christmas dinner and being just so thankful for having my wife, my mother, and our two dogs there with us who were getting some table scraps off of our meal. And it hit me that that's why Jesus came into this world to save us and give us these beautiful moments here that are just a mere reflection of the beauty of heaven. And the martyrdom of Stephen is truly a testament to that because Stephen knew he was one of the seven original deacons and he could speak of Jesus like no other and the Sanhedrin got jealous and that's basically why they put him to death because he was putting them to shame and none other than Saul signed his death warrant Saul who became Saint Paul so no matter what we've done or how we've done it, we can always come back to our Lord. He's always going to be there with open arms for us. And 
because of the birth of his son, he gave us the opportunity to have that eternal life. All we have to do is believe in him and do what he asks us to do, whether it be anything, even death. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, in the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. God revealed the depths of his love for us by sending his Son to save and redeem us. With confidence, we present to him our petitions and our responses. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God throughout the world, that she may grow in holiness as she celebrates the birth of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lasting peace, that Christ, the Prince of Peace, will put an end to war and violence in our world. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, that the Christ child whom we contemplate today in the manger may bring simplicity, peace, and consolation to our lives. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the lonely, and the grieving, especially those on our parish prayer list, that the tenderness of the Father's love will provide for them in every way. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. And for all of those who are separated from Christ and his church, that the Holy Spirit may lead them home, which is our Mass intention today. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died and those who will die today, that they rejoice with Christ who came, that we might have eternal life. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, through your Son, Jesus, you offer us new life, healing, salvation, and peace. May his glory shine upon us now and forever. We ask all these things, both spoken and unspoken, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Lord God, accept these gifts we offer you in commemoration of the glorious death of St. Stephen. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Your servant, St. Stephen, was baptized into the body of Christ and following our Savior, offered up his own life as a testament of faith in the promised resurrection. By maintaining his faith in the face of violence and death, St. Stephen gives the church courage to be a faithful witness, standing against the evils of the world. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 5, which is found on page 92. Blessed are you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy and God of all consolation, for you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He then established a lasting memorial of your salvation, on the evening in which he willingly surrendered himself, he took bread, gave you thanks, blessed it, and broke it, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks, blessed it, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So we recall before you, Father, the incarnation of your Son, his words and deeds, how he humbled himself and obediently accepted death, even death on a cross. <coughs> Therefore you have raised him up and given him a name which is above every name, so that in heaven and under the earth every knee shall bow and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. We offer the sacrifice of your Son before you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving, and ask that you accept this oblation. Send your Holy Spirit and fill these gifts with his life-giving power, that they may be for us the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son. Grant that the bread which we break may be the body of our Lord, and the cup over which we give thanks may be one with the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. In the company of Mary, the mother of God, with your apostles and martyrs, holy will abroad, Stephen, and all the saints, together with Anthony, our prime bishop, and Jerry, our bishop, 
And with all bishops, priests, and deacons, as well as your whole church, we praise and glorify you and look forward to the coming of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? This is one bread, these are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. In the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ, bring us sanctification and eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us say together the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be potted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. In the body of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. body and blood of Christ. Amen. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. I cannot receive you sacramentally. I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, my possessed with a pure heart, that which I have taken as food, may the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever.
Now Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Let us pray. Merciful Father, may we who have received these holy mysteries on this feast of St. Stephen be filled with grace that we too might give witness to Christ and at last behold the glory of God. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So join me now in prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood is to understand. To be loved is to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for joining us for our Holy Mass today on this Feast of St. Stephen. I pray you have a wonderful day. You can join us for the rest of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And have a beautiful day, beautiful week. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remain in a state of grace. Fight evil and spread joy everywhere. O oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels, O oh, come let us adore him, O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord.